wire is going to go into four and five and it's going to skip three i have one and two but that's for my map switch um and that's going off of the module itself um i don't know if you'll be able to see in there but it's connected to the module and then from the module goes into the power command of five and then you run all the wires underneath you're going to go where the battery is at i lifted up the plate and stuck all the wires underneath that so when i put the seat on the wires are not in the way then i routed them here i don't know if you'll be able to see it because it's kind of sunny out uh routed them here underneath the gas tank your module is going to go on your upper uh, injectors so you got four injectors up top you got one here one here and i'll go to the other side so you can see that so we also got one here and one there um on the installation guide it shows you going from right to left and then your wire is going to the left side up the bike so that's how i did it now the power commander 5 is the same exact thing i also did it uh right to left um, and then your bottom injectors are more difficult you got them right here and one in the middle and the same thing with the other side just going to do the repeat so remember power commander 5 goes in the bottom injectors the inspection module goes to the top injectors and i will explain why you need to have them both so to get to the bottom ones they're difficult you can't really reach in there to pull down the clip so you can pull it out so what i had is a, a little uh, metal pick and i would stuff it there to push the the clip down and then pull uh, you can even use a skinny flathead so you can push that pin down and pull uh, the top ones are easy to get to like i didn't have to use any tools to try to get those out you don't want to pull on these wires because they're very fragile but to explain why you need to have an expansion module for a bike that has eight injectors um, the power commander 5 only controls the bottom injectors it doesn't control the top ones um, so you need the expansion module to tell all the injectors to stop working so when you shift up you have no gas going through and damaging your clutch so remember expansion module controls the top power commander 5 controls the bottom and the sensor is down here and that was a pain to install uh, the wires I had to do a crappy job Hold on. Ooh. Hey, boy. You're welcome. So the wires in the bottom, I had to do a crappy job because the, they didn't give me the right connectors to connect it. Um, and it says, so the ones I have is push and pull sensor. The, the expansion module comes with the old connectors that goes to the sensor since this sensor is the newer version of it it doesn't it doesn't connect so i had to splice it in um, i didn't want to cut any of the wires at all because if i go to resell this um, i don't want to sell with any of the wires being cut but because it was being so much of a pain in my ass to install it i just put i just i had to cut the one for the uh, module since it's the older version anyways and like I said, people can use these type of connectors or a different type of connectors and it will still work the same. But anyways, the reason why I say it looks ugly is because I'm going to have to uh, electric, electric tape this and it's going to look like a big ball of tape. Uh, and I'm going to have to hide it as good as possible. But again, uh, when you tuck it away, you can't see it. Um, the rod itself was a pain. And also uh, finding a, a heim joint was a pain because that heim joint is not to my aftermarket rear set. Mine's had a male and my original came with a female. And the rod that I ordered from STG is to my stock rear sets. So it's male and male going into two females. So I had to order a rear heim joint, which took forever. Uh, also you have to check your length um, and make sure you have locking nuts 
because the problem I had, I was riding on the highway and it, I have it on YouTube, um, the review for the quick shifter. But the problem is I didn't lock these nuts in and they were coming out loose with the vibration. And the heim joint um, came off the lever. So um, I couldn't kick up and I couldn't kick down. And I was in fifth gear and I had to uh, downshift because I was coming to a stop. So I had to pull over and luckily that screw was still in the heim. If not, I'd be stranded on the highway because there was no way to get home. But yeah, guys, um, I don't, I can't show you guys how I did it on the computer because I only got one hand. Uh, but I already have it on the computer uh, enabled for the quick shifter. Um, this one is, remember, it's push and pull. So I had to use uh, blue and green. If uh, this, mine is push. If yours is going to be pull, you would use uh, yellow and red. Uh, and then you would connect it to blue and green. So in reality, it's super simple. It's just uh, a plug and play. Oh, and before I forget, that Power Commander 5 also has a separate plug. Uh, it plugs into your gear sensor. So for the 2008, ours is right here. And you pull that one out and you plug it in with the Power Commander 5 and it's a piggyback. Then you plug the other one to that one. So that would be that. So remember, when you do the Power Commander 5, is the your precision sensor and it also has your speed sensor inside and then all your injectors. Um, and the expansion module, remember, it's all four up top and then connecting to your uh, quick shifter sensor. Other than that, then just put, you know, uh, zip tie it to however you want and, you know, to get the wires as um, organized as possible, as difficult as that is because there's just so much wires. But um, then just, Put everything back together after you installed your install the software and the stuff for your mappings um i'll see if i can make a separate video if people need me to do a video of how to map it but other than that i'm gonna be doing another video today um doing another review of how i fixed um the problem with the quick shifter and with other people that don't say that if you have eight injectors, you need an expansion module. Um, and I'll do a second review on how I fixed the problem and how much the whole grand total cost. Um, and you guys can see the shifter in action and it should be a smoother shifting. Uh, it was shifting so rough because I didn't have the upper injectors controlled by Power Commander. But all right guys, I didn't want to make this video too long, um, but that's how is all connected. Oh, and before I forget, also for the Power Commander 5, it connects to your negative, so you have a black wire in your negative. But, alright guys, uh, ride safe, stay safe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.